Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to Solid Gold. Now, I was thinking about what new video to make for you guys this week, and then it hit me. The last time you've really seen my adult fish was back in February, so it's about time for an update, right? And honestly guys, a couple of them have changed so much since then that you might not even recognize them anymore. It's pretty crazy. They've also been growing a lot since moving here, and I really think that Florida agrees with them. After I moved here to Florida, I wasn't quite ready to set these guys up again in my 75 gallon tank inside. Even when I do set up the 75 gallon tank again, I think it might be reserved for some new calico butterfly breeders or something exciting like that. So anyways, I decided to set up my group of red and white butterfly breeders outside on my balcony in my 127 gallon tub. And people ask me all the time where I get these tubs. They're made by a company called Laguna. Chances are you won't find them in any stores, but if you go to your local aquarium store and ask, they may be able to special order them in for you since they probably already carry Laguna products in their store. Here's Clyde and as you guys know if you watch any of my videos he's my favorite fish currently. He's the one that I brought to the Minnesota Aquarium Society show last year and he won two awards. He won People's Choice Fish and second place in the Koi and Goldfish category. Clyde used to be a panda, which means he had black and white coloring. Here's what he looked like two years ago when I first got him from Dandy Aranda's. Now guys, you should know that there are no true panda goldfish. Goldfish that are black and white like this are eventually going to lose all their black color and become all white or red and white if they have any red coloring underneath the black pigment. Clyde actually kept his black for a remarkably long time, about two years before becoming what he is now. He's now mostly white with red eyes and mostly red fins. He has two little red dots on his side, which I think are really cute. This was him back in February, just three months ago, so you can see that once the color starts changing, it really goes fast. Here's Sophie. She's my female butterfly telescope who is the mother of all my fry. I got her from Dandy Randas in the same shipment as Clyde and I'm actually fairly sure they are closely related fish, maybe even from the same spawn. I've had her for two years and I can't believe how big she's gotten, especially since moving them from the 75 gallon aquarium inside to the 127 gallon tub outside. It seems like she's had a little bit of an explosion of growth too in the past month. She's easily my biggest fish at about nine and a half inches in total length. I used to tell people that my adult goldfish are all hand sized, but now I'll have to start telling people that my goldfish are bigger than my hand. Crazy. She used to be a tricolor fish and here's what she looked like when I first got her. Just like with Clyde the Panda, this color pattern was just a temporary transitionary color and now she's completely red and white. Here's what she looked like in February just a few short months ago. And again, you can see that once the color starts creeping away, it really goes fast. Here's Luca, my male white butterfly telescope that I've had for three years. He was also a Chinese import, but not purchased from Dandy Aranda's. He's grown quite a bit over the years as well. When I first got him, he was only about two and a half inches long. He was so tiny. Here's what he looked like back then. Wasn't he so cute? His white color has remained consistent, but the red color around his eyes has gotten more intense, especially here in the Florida sunlight. He tends to have some swimming issues with not necessarily floating upside down, but at that stage where if it progresses, it's gonna become that. So he'll do a lot of gulping at the surface and he will just have general issues with swimming properly. Sometimes when he's swimming, he kind of gets flipped over and tumbles around a little bit before being able to write himself, but I have noticed an improvement since moving him outside into the 127 gallon tub, so I just think that being out there has really helped that condition and made it better for him. And here's Asha, the only baby I ended up keeping for myself out of my very first batch of butterfly telescopes I ever raised. He's about one and a half years old now. His mom was a beautiful red and white butterfly telescope named Me Nai that I used to have, and she came from Dandy Aranda's. I really like Asha because he has something special about his scales that make them appear sparkly. If you're familiar with koi, it looks a lot like jean on a koi. In goldfish, I've heard this referred to as crystal scales. I definitely want to breed him and see if I can get that to be a stable trait in some of his fry. Wouldn't that be awesome? He has a great body shape, good, well-proportioned eyes, and an interesting color pattern. Although his red color has always been more of a tangerine orange instead of a true red, but that's fine. 
He also has a beautiful tail shape and spread from above, but from the side his caudal peduncle is set a little low, making his tail appear droopy. With butterfly telescopes, it's actually very hard and very rare to strike that perfect balance of having a tail that looks well spread from above, yet doesn't appear droopy in side view. So with everything in goldfish, it's kind of a give and take. There's no such thing as a perfect fish. And going around to the other side of my balcony, here are my butterfly telescope fry, which really can't be called fry anymore now because they're just a little bit over six months old. A few of them even have little breeding stars, and I think I've even seen a little bit of chasing, like some spawning, you know, pre-spawning activity or something. So that's super exciting. And guess what? It's announcement time, actually. You guys have been waiting so patiently for these fish to be ready for sale, and I just announced over the weekend via my new email list that they'll be going up for sale this Friday. So the sale listings will go live on Friday, May 15th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on the new Facebook page I created called Solid Gold Butterflies. That's just a page exclusively for selling my fish, so I'm not changing what my Facebook page is. I'm just making a new one that people can go to only to buy fish and then keep going to my main one for updates about my fish and things like that. Each fish will have its own photos and videos so you can see exactly what you're getting before purchasing and they'll be selling for an average of about $75 each and please remember guys that shipping fish safely is not a cheap endeavor no matter who you purchase your fish from. You can expect the shipping costs to be anywhere from $75 to $100 really depending on where you live and how many fish you're buying from me. I'm sure you'll have lots of great questions about how this all works and before asking just go ahead and check my article that I wrote called How to Buy and Shipping Policies, which you can find on Solid Gold Butterflies Facebook page. I will put a link in the description section below too, so you don't have to go searching around. It'll be very easy to find. Most of the questions you have have already been answered there, so check there first, and then if you don't find what you're looking for, feel free to ask me, but please go and check there first because I'm really, really busy and I don't have time to answer the questions that I've already compiled nicely for you and put somewhere. And I'm not trying to send anyone into a panic by any means, but I do honestly think these babies are going to go very fast. There are only about 25 available for sale, and so many of you have expressed interest. Don't worry if you're not in a place right now to buy fish from me, but you want to eventually. This is going to be a long-term project for me, so I will be having more fish available for sale in the future. I just don't know when yet because my fish aren't spawning actively right now. I love these babies with all my heart, and I'm just really excited to send them off to you so you will love them as well and continue the care that I have put into them. Thank you so much for watching this week's video guys. I look forward to seeing you in next week's video and oh I almost forgot from my Q&A video last week Elaine had asked me what my age was because she couldn't quite figure it out and I don't want to leave you guys hanging too much. I'm 26 years old. It's out in the open. It's out. I'm 26. Okay you can stop wondering now. <laughs> I will be 27 pretty soon. My birthday is in August 18th so yeah that's awesome. Thanks for watching guys. Until next time stay gold. This video was made possible through the generous support of viewers like you. To find out more, go to patreon.com slash solidgoldfish.